What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. All right, so this question looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Here's what we have. In circle C shown above, if CB is eight, and the measure of angle ABC is 45, what's the area of the shaded region? All right, so let's go step by step. First of all, what do we know? CB is eight. What is CB? Let's take a look at it. We're going from C all the way out to the outside of the circle. Whenever we do that, what's that called? It's a radius. Now, what else do we see? CA also has to be what? A radius. So we have eight and eight. Now, what other information do we have here? We know that the measure of angle ABC is 45. Measure of angle ABC is 45. So let's mark that in. So what we're gonna do is let's mark ABC. And now what do we know? That angle is 45 degrees. Now what do we know about triangles? We know if the sides are equal, the angles opposite those sides are equal. So let's just draw little arrows to see the angle opposite one of these eights and the angle opposite the other eight. As a result, these angles have to be equal because the sides are equal. So what do we know? Both those angles are 45. Now, what's the total number of degrees of any triangle? Any triangle has a total number of degrees of 180. So let's work with this now. If we know the total number of degrees is 180, what we can do is subtract 45 and 45, which together are 90. And we know the third angle of this triangle has to be 90 degrees. Now, what's the question asking for? The area of the shaded region. The area of the shaded region here is literally like a pizza slice. And what portion of the pizza are we dealing with? We're dealing with 90 degrees out of a total of what? For a circle, how many total degrees are there? 360. So we're dealing with 90 out of 360. We can cancel the zeros. That's 9 over 36. Divide the top and the bottom by 9, and what do we have? 1 over 4. So we're dealing with 1 fourth of our total circle. So what are we going to do? Let's find the area of the entire circle, and then do one fourth of that area. So area of a circle is pi r squared. So we have pi eight squared, which is what? 64 pi, but we're only dealing with a quarter of that. So we do one fourth times 64 pi over one, the four and the 64 cancel, and what do we have? 16 on the top, one on the bottom, and we're left with 16 pi, answer choice E. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. And make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> Here we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.